Estimates about 200 barrels worth of oil is still floating on the water. Officials believe a significant amount of that will evaporate, but some of the crude is making its way northward. Fox 10 News reporter John Rogers shows us where it might go. Tuesday's oil rig explosion was a terrifying and dangerous sight, but the aftermath could be just as dangerous. The Exxon Valdez oil spill in 1989 dumped 11 million gallons of oil off the coast of Alaska, devastating the ecosystem. Environmental officials at Gulfport say this oil spill will have a much smaller impact. It's more of just a sheen on the surface. Uh, certainly you might experience some what they might call tar balls, where some of it gets clumped together and comes in in a small ball, something in that effect. I, I don't think you're going to see what occurred with the Exxon Valdez. The Coast Guard says the current could spread the oil northward. Environmental officials say it may not reach the Mississippi coastline, but it could reach barrier islands offshore, including Cat Island and the Ship Islands, a concern to charter boat captains. One of the last undeveloped islands in the, in the nation, pristine beaches, beautiful water, and we certainly don't need anything from, uh, from an exploding oil rig washing up on our beaches. The weather could help. The winds are strong here in Gulfport, and you can clearly see white caps on the water behind me. Fox and meteorologists say the winds will pick up into Saturday, and emergency officials say this can help break up the oil. Environmental officials say if oil does make it to shore, it would reach Alabama beaches or the Florida Panhandle. The Alabama Department of Environmental Management is closely monitoring the situation. Officials in the Gulf are hard at work cleaning up the mess, while environmentalists on shore are watching and waiting. In Gulfport, John Rogers, Fox 10 News. The Alabama Department of Environmental Management will send out advisories if it looks like oil is going to reach the shore. The Coast Guard doesn't believe the oil rig is leaking.